for the 2022 Epson Door Copper Rock Championship. The road to the LPGA can take many turns. But none is more direct and more well-traveled than the Epson Tour. It's a new season with new faces. And while some of the players may have changed, the dream is always the same. It's the first time professionals eager to prove themselves and show they have what it takes. It's the Tour veterans who look to this season as one more chance to make it back to the big show or quite possibly their last. They are the best young woman golfers in the world, and they have one goal, to make it to the LPGA. Because at the end of this season, the top 10 finishers will do just that. Today, they've come to Copper Rock, Utah, an oasis in the desert to compete against each other and themselves. To make it one step closer to what some have been working towards their entire lives. This is the 2022 Copper Rock Championship on the LPGA Epson Tour, the road to the LPGA. Today marks the kickoff to the 2022 Copper Rock Championship from Hurricane, Utah. It's only the event's second year, but the tournament has already become one of the most anticipated stops on the LPGA Epson Tour. This year, the Women's Epson Tour has a new name and new sponsor, but what hasn't changed is that it's still 120 of the top women golfers from all over the world, grinding over a 21 tournament season for a chance to finish in the top 10 and earn their place on the LPGA. Copper Rock is the fifth stop of the 2022 season. Rookies straight out of college and LPGA veterans from all over the world are all here to take home a win and move them up the money list and one step closer to earning that coveted LPGA card. And the opportunity that they give us um, in order to get your card on the LPGA through this tour is amazing. If I got my LPGA card, oh, it'd be so cool. It'd be a really big deal. As the later groups warm up on the range, the first round of the Copper Rock Championship is well underway. <laughs> Bailey Tardy, last year's tournament champion, has arrived. So, I'm uh, excited to tee it up in round one out here. And she is met by her caddy and done. good luck charm, someone that she calls mom. Done deal, let's go. I'm so excited to be back. This is a beautiful place. It's extremely special to have my mom on my bag, for her to come out here and want to support me and my dream. It gives me more confidence. Bailey arrived in town earlier in the week to reconnect with the course that gave her her first professional career win. Minus 10, Bailey Party, you are the official champion. Oh. The biggest memory from 2021 is winning the inaugural event. Being the crown champion is awesome. I did it! Being here on property, I was like, wow, I really miss this place. The grandstands, the people, it's something that I'll never forget because of what this tournament and this golf course and town means to me. Once that final putt went in, it was honestly a sigh of relief. I turned around and people came over with freezing cold water. Sharing that moment with my mom was something super special and it's really something that I will never forget for the rest of my life. The rest of the season, I came close to winning three other events, but unfortunately fell just short. I finished 12th on the money list last year. So, I mean, it's kind of a dagger um, from putting all that work in, all of the tears. It was kind of sour to fall up a little short again. And defending champion. 
Bailey Tardy. Obviously, the goal at the end of the year is to get your LPGA card. It's very hard to get. I've experienced the last two years. I'm striving to get top 10. Hopefully, that is in my favor this year. It's incredible being back here. Such an incredible year last year, and I'm just excited for a great week. Back on the first tee, the players of the Epson Tour are beginning their first round. Promising young American stars Lucy Lee and Sierra Brooks take the course and are joined by veteran Dottie Ardina of the Philippines, one of the groups to keep an eye on today. Already on the course is South Korea's Kum Kang Park. Kum Kang, known as KK to her friends, currently sits at the top of the 2022 race to the card standings and has been there all season. As round one picks up momentum, so does the wind. Forecasted to reach over 30 miles per hour before the afternoon, the wind hits right on schedule. I was expecting wind, but it just makes everything so much more complicated. I kind of enjoy the challenge of that part of golf. It was out there. Daniela Iacobelli an Epson Tour veteran and crowd favorite is unfazed and puts her experience to good use. When you get a 40 mile an hour gust, you just gotta hit and pray. Bailey Tardy birdies on one and four. But a consecutive string of bogeys right after sends her in the wrong direction. Lucy Lee and Sierra Brooks are dealing with the wind, each in their own way and with varying degrees of success. This wind is something else. It's not, nothing like it out here in Hurricane. Kung Kang Park is also struggling. She'll finish the round at five over par, an uncharacteristically high score for the tour leader. As the first day of the Copper Rock Championship winds down, the high scores reflect the toll that the wind has taken on the entire field. Battered and beaten, the golfers begin to come off course. Bailey Tardy walks away at six over par, a far cry from the six under that she shot in round one just last year. You know, with, with a day like this, when it's so windy, no one's gonna go super low today, obviously. So as long as you're hanging around there, um, kind of close, anything can happen on the weekend. American Kim Kaufman takes the day at two under and is one of only three players to finish the day in the red. Um, I mean, you can't deny there's a lot of pressure. I was a little nervous, so, but then I kind of calmed down and I just hit a lot of fairways and a lot of greens. Putting yourself in you know, positions like this is, uh, is definitely helpful and you know, where you need to be. Tomorrow is the second round and cut day where 60 of the 120 players will be sent home. Tonight, all eyes are on the leaderboard and also on the sky as they wait to see what else Mother Nature is going to throw at them. More from the Copper Rock Championship and the road to the LPGA when we return. Epson Tour is the gateway to the LPGA. The end of the year, based upon your money list, the top 10 will get your LPGA card. I think that's everybody's goal out here. So I'm just trying to do my best every week and hopefully I can finish in the top 10. The Epson Tour is a journey, and it's a long journey. It's not easy being on this tour. It's, it's a lot of cities, it's a lot of new leagues, it's very expensive, it's not all glamour. We just really have to keep it in perspective that we're so lucky to travel to all these places and meet all these people. With Epson as our new sponsor of the tour, they're really taking women's golf in a great direction. 
they've raised all the purses this year, and then they've actually lowered our entry fees, saving us, you know, a pretty good chunk of change throughout the year. And they're doing such great things to just make it easier on us to um, play professional golf and to try to get to the LPGA. What they provide and the opportunity that they give us to get your card on the LPGA through this tour is amazing. All the girls out here are very, very talented, so it's a long year, but I'm really excited to see how it turns out. It's the second day in the second round of the Copper Rock Championship in Hurricane, Utah, the fifth stop on the LPGA Epson Tour. Today is cut day, and all eyes are on the leaderboard, because at the end of the day, only half of this 120-player field will make the cut and move on to the final round. It's kind of nerve-wracking if you're on the cut line coming down the last couple holes. Yeah, you just got to focus and make the crucial shots when they mean the most. I think maybe for younger players, there's a lot of pressure surrounding the cut. There's a lot of girls out here. A lot can happen, especially with wind and rain. So I want to go out and just hit some good golf shots. You know, you never know. It's exciting because making the cut's the only way you're going to move up the money list and improve your ranking. And that's what it's all about. That's what I'm here to do. All eyes are also on the gathering clouds. The temperature has dropped 40 degrees from yesterday, and a rapidly moving storm is moving in from the east over Zion. Spirits are up, despite the weather. Kim Kaufman, the tournament leader at two under, is on course. Focused and determined to increase her lead from yesterday. By the time I got to the first tee, it was pouring rain. And we played those first holes in the rain and the wind, it got colder. Today was a test. These last two days have been quite a battle. But I, I feel like you have to do your best to just put it in the back of your mind and remind yourself that uh, if you stay in there and fight, you'll be surprised maybe how high you are finishing at the end of the day. Dottie Ardina, Sierra Brooks, and Lucy Lee are back and ready to go head to head again all day. Dottie, unfazed by the conditions, draws first blood with a birdie on one. Day two was, was brutal. <laughs> it was pouring rain and it was cold. I didn't, I don't remember how, but I was just trying to have fun and stay dry. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty challenging. Jeravi Boonchan of Thailand an Epson Tour rookie and four-time All-American from Duke, is also unfazed. She puts herself into contention with an eagle on the third hole. Kaufman's narrow lead is looking more and more vulnerable. She's fighting a hungry field that is close on her heels and narrowing the gap. She's also fighting the rain and the cold which is getting worse by the minute. The out-of-season winter storm is taking its toll, and the players' frustrations are playing out all over the course. Even if you have a couple bad holes out there, so you just kind of keep your head up and keep going. Yeah, it's cold. It's brutal. One player doing well is tour rookie Gabriella Ruffles, who has racked up four birdies on the front nine. It's Gabby's first year as a professional. She joined the Epson Tour after giving up a pro tennis career in Australia to pursue her passion for golf. I turned pro in 2021, so last year, and now this is my, I guess, rookie year on the Epson Tour. I've played in three events so far. First one in Florida, and then Phoenix, and then Beaumont. Being a rookie on the Epson Tour is super exciting. There's one goal at the end of the year, and that's to get in the top 10 to go to the LPGA. 
biggest difference from, I guess, college to being out here on your own is that you have to do everything on your own. Being able to plan your accommodation, your travel, maintaining your diet, everything. Obviously, I guess it escalates, you know, once you get to the LPGA, so it's great practice for all that. Being away from home, it's not easy. It can get lonely. You know, it's tough. It's tough for girls that are from all over, but it's, uh, it's really cool to see, and it kind of, this tour brings everyone in, in one place. It's been great. I really, really like this tour, and I think it's a great stepping stone to the LPGA. It's great courses and great competition week after week, and I'm, you know, really grateful to be on this tour. More from round two of the Copper Rock Championship when we return. My name is Daniela Iacobelli. Uh, my rookie year was 2010. So I think I've been out here maybe a couple years longer than I should, but we're still cruising right along. So I grew up in a very Italian, very loud household. Anybody who gets to know me does realize that there isn't a filter, but you, you just kind of look at me and you're like, I get it now. Like, it just all makes sense. I don't think very much of myself as a golfer. I think I'm just an average person who happens to be able to hit the ball further and straighter than most. And I get to make a living off of it. My love of the game is probably stronger than it was when I started. Fingers crossed. When I was younger, I was so fixated on, on making money and trying to do big things. And now I'm just stopping and smelling the roses and just enjoying the journey as, as long as I possibly can. So I think this is technically my 13th season out on tour. And honestly, I've learned more about myself than I have golf. I've learned how to deal with frustrations and highs and lows, you know, on and off the golf course. And I don't think I could do anything else in the world as a job. Women's golf is probably one of the most underrated sports. I think people don't give it enough recognition to help women's golf in any way possible. I feel like that has somehow become my ultimate goal, play golf as much as I can and try to change women's golf and try to get more people invested in it. If we can do something with this as women's golf as a whole, you know, we might be able to get more money for the women and close the pay gap, and who knows? I mean, possibilities are endless. The worst someone can say is no, right? The second day in the second round of the Copper Rock Championship is well underway. At the end of today's round, only 60 of the 120 player field will move on to tomorrow's finals. For me, I, I don't focus on the cut line. I just focus on attacking the holes that are gettable and playing conservative on the holes that I need to. I'm in a mind frame of par is par, but you know, trying to make birdies out there and give myself chances. And round two, you can put more pressure on it, but it's also moving day at the same time. I think it's always in the back of everybody's head. Everybody, you know, wants to play all rounds, but I'm trying not to think about it. I'm just going out there and doing the best that I can. To add to the pressure, the players are also battling some of the worst weather of their professional careers. Weather plays a big part in, especially out here. Um, we have a lot of golf holes with elevation changes. So when you get 20, 30, 40 mile an hour winds, it's kind of a hit and pray. 
Reigning tournament champion Bailey Tardy is just one of the many players on the bubble. The pressure now is to just survive the day. Trying to make the cut is, is very crucial. If you're focused on the cut line, then most of the times you're gonna fall right outside. You just gotta focus and make the crucial shots when they mean the most. Kim Kaufman's narrow lead gives way to Amelia Garvey of New Zealand, whose back-to-back -back birdies on 10 and 11 have put her on top. Every week up to now, I've kind of been on the cut line. Um, so I've been having a bit of pressure, not the pressure that I would like, definitely not the pressure that I would like this week in terms of being in contention rather than just making the cut. I put up a good finish and I kind of went into this tournament um, more so trying not to focus on the cut and trying to focus on uh, being in contention come the final round, so I've done that. Emma Bros of France, whose steady play through the cold and the rain has kept her bogey free all day, has also moved into contention. As round two winds down, the women of the Epson Tour come off course to find out their fates. Rookie standout Gabriella Ruffles takes the day with a six under par, putting her within striking distance of the leaders. I was really, really happy with my round today. Still quite a bit off the lead, but um, this round definitely gave me a lot of confidence going into tomorrow. Tour leader Kum Kang Park does not make the tournament cut. It is the first cut she has missed all season. Bailey Tardy has one last glimmer of hope if she can only birdie on 18. With her mom looking on, she attempts a 30-foot putt to keep her copper rock dream alive. But today is just not her day. Daniela Iacobelli comfortably makes the cut and sums up the day's conditions. Yeah, it's cold. We just played in the British Open. <laughs> we literally just played in the British Open. Honestly, that was some of the best golf I've ever played in my life, and I think I shot par. As the sun finally makes an appearance, Emma Bros of France emerges as the new tournament leader, taking a two-shot lead into the final round at three under par. Uh, finish like, yeah, four under for the day, and uh, I feel good, like, I'm not, like, right now, I'm just gonna rest and just go to bed early, trying to catch up on some sleep, and we'll see tomorrow. 60 of the 120-woman field make the cut and will return tomorrow for the final round. The rest say their goodbyes to each other and a farewell to Copper Rock until next season. And the storm finally clears, revealing a blanket of snow left behind on the local mountains. More from the Copper Rock Championship and the road to the LPGA when we return. is great. The people are awesome. They go above and beyond, and it's a great stop on the road. Coming back to Copper Rock from the people of the clubhouse to this golf course, I mean, I have only happy memories from here. It's a beautiful course. I mean, the mountains all around us, and everyone here has been so nice. It's been great. You know, it's felt like we've been at an LPGA event this week and with all the production crew and the grandstand. So it's really been fun. I think this whole town um, has come together for this event and they've done a spectacular job for us and we're all really excited to be here. I really like Utah. I mean, some of those views are just amazing. You don't get to see them anywhere else. It's great to be back, just this environment, the community around here, is, it's so special and I'm excited for a great week.
It feels great to be back at Pop Rock. I love it here. It's uh, one of my favorite events of the season. But it's just great to see the support out here for the Epson Tour and Women's Golf. It's the final round of the Copper Rock Championship, the fifth stop on the LPGA Epson Tour. 60 players remain and prepare for their last 18 holes on this par 72 course. Fans and volunteers have arrived from all over Utah. They have come to watch the best young female golfers fight to get one step closer to their LPGA card. A win today would be a major step in that direction. After an unforgiving, cold and rainy second round, the skies have finally cleared. The warm Utah sun has returned, revealing snow-covered mountains surrounding Copper Rock. No win? It's gorgeous. It's play 36. Current leader and rising French star Emma Brose arrives early to get in some pre-round warm-up time on the range. She's fighting a competitive field and looking for her first win of the season. I'm in a good position for sure. I have a two-shot lead. It's gonna be a nice third round for us to play and I think it's gonna be pretty exciting for everybody. The earlier groups are teeing off and taking the course. Challenging weather from the first two rounds have kept scores relatively high and close. A good day today would put anyone in striking distance. It's a young and talented international field here at Copper Rock. That's one thing that I really like about the Epson Tour, the girls are representing so many countries. So I think this week we have 30 countries represented here at Copper Rock. It's really cool that you can share your like passion of, of golf with people from all around the world. It just shows that women's golf is being elevated on a global scale. Anita Uwadia of the UK and Dottie Ardina of the Philippines join rookie Gabby Ruffles of Australia. Anita and Dottie are old friends and both start their day at two over par. Amelia Garvey of New Zealand and Kira Rihijarvi of Finland meet up on their way to the first tee and will be the last group in the order. Emma Brose, the current tournament leader, joins them. They will be the group that everyone is chasing. It's been fun. Uh, this is only my fifth event, so I'm really excited um, for today's final round. First time I've been in contention um, in a final group in my professional career, so just overall, you know, excited to get out there and get playing. Welcome, Amelia Garvey. Amelia Garvey comes out of the gates motivated and focused and walks away from one with her first birdie of the day, putting her within one stroke of bros. The conditions were Definitely a lot different today. It was nice to kick start my day with a birdie. The first hole can be a sign of things to come. But Garvey must keep up the momentum. More from the Copper Rock Championship and the road to the LPGA when we return.
Copper Rock is a great golf course. The course is phenomenal. It's such a fun golf course. I keep saying, I feel like I'm on Mars when I'm here. It's just unlike anything you see in the US. To be out here and, and get these views on a golf course is, is pretty special. It's kind of a place you are playing golf, but you're soaking in everything around you as well. So it's great to be back here. It's a new golf course. It's been around for maybe two years only. It's a desert style course. And that's why the winds can really pick up out here is because there's no protection here from trees. It tests a lot of your mental strength and your imagination. It's a great track because it really makes you do all the math and it makes you really pay attention to, you know, where do I want to leave the golf ball? You really have to kind of think your way and be a little unconventional. So that's, that's kind of fun. It's a great course, and they're doing a great job with that. I can see it being a really, really good, you know, championship golf course in the future. The third day and final round of the Copper Rock Championship is in full swing. A win today would put any of these players well on their way to a top 10 tour finish and earn them their LPGA card. Every single person who's out here are trying to get their card. So obviously it'd mean the world to me and every single other girl out here. I'm taking every event, you know, making it its own. And, you know, it's, you know, an opportunity and an opportunity to play the best golf I can. and just control what I can control out there. With 18 holes left and the top players all within a few strokes, the day and the tournament are within anyone's reach. Yeah, I mean, you can't deny there's a lot of pressure. And, uh, you know, we think about it, I, I feel like, all the time. And you have to do your best to just put in the back of your mind and remind yourself that uh, you can't really control the outcome. You can just try to hit, you know, the best shot you can on, you know, every day and every hole. So putting yourself in, you know, positions like this is, uh, is definitely helpful and, you know, where you need to be. Emma Bros started the day at three under par, but already her two-stroke lead has vanished after a bogey on two, followed closely by a double bogey on three. With the tournament lead now up for grabs, the top players are all making their move. You don't really know out there until you get to a leaderboard every probably six or seven holes. So just yes, trying to play as well as you can. American Becca Hoffer sinks a 30-footer on the 10th hole, getting this Utah crowd on their feet. Oh, nice. Kim Kaufman and Jera V. Boonchan, who at one point were each tournament leaders, are in the same group today. They are joined by Letitia Beck of Israel, who has racked up three birdies on the front nine. Marta Sanz Barrio of Spain has been steadily climbing the board all day. She moves up again with an impressive eagle on 10. Veteran and crowd favorite, Daniela Iacobelli, is still in the hunt and birdies on seven. But it's Amelia Garvey who has kept up her momentum and focus and steps out in front of this women's field to take the lead. But for how long? The final round of the Copper Rock Championship from the LPGA Epson Tour will continue in a moment.
win the Copper Rock Championship would mean the world to me. Winning an event like this one puts you in the spot you need to be for the remainder of the season. A win is never bad, wherever it is, but here would be special. A win does a lot. It kind of gives you a little bit of cushion going the rest of the season to have a, a little bit of spare change in the pocket. So a win at Copper Rock would be the icing on the cake. It would be so special to get my LPGA card. Hopefully this is a, a pathway to it. I've gotten my card twice through the Epson Tour, both of which came with a, a big sigh of relief. It's very competitive on the Epson Tour. So many good girls out here. There's a lot of pressure, but I just try to have fun out there and go by day, day by day. Everyone can play out here and everyone's talented. The difference is who has the mind for it and who can do it. At the end, when they they call your name and you walk up on the stage and you get your card, I mean, it's pretty emotional, so it's a big deal. Dottie Ardina of the Philippines and Anita Uwadia of the UK are on course and in the same group. They both start this final round at two over par. They are joined by Gabby Ruffles, who is riding the high of yesterday's second round, where she shot an impressive six under on this par 72 course. Round two for me was a lot better than round one, 13 shots better, which is quite a lot. It's put me in a good position for today. Dottie and Anita both know that a win at Copper Rock could put them on their way to the LPGA. But what they don't know is that today will turn into an epic battle between two friends. You know, playing with Anita and Gabby, they're cool, but they're both so focused and determined. Everybody's good. So I was having fun and was focused today. With snow-covered peaks as their backdrop, they kick off the day each with a birdie on the first hole. Having earned her LPGA card in 2018, Dottie has experience and two seasons in the LPGA under her belt. This is not her first time in the top 10 of a final round. You know, you learn a lot from playing the game. So I knew there's going to be a lot of under pars today. So I have to make some putts. Dottie birdies on five. And Anita answers back with her first eagle of the tournament. Anita likes to keep things light and loose between these two friends. However, her focus can be as laser as Dottie's when it comes down to it. You know, every time I see her, it's just, it's always fun. You know, she's a character. <laughs> Copper Rock is amazing. Dottie Ardina is amazing. Competing with her, oh, it's a great experience. Uh, it's just a great confidence booster. On the seventh hole, Dottie birdies for the equalizer, putting them even again at one under par. Dottie birdies again on eight to take the lead. Anita's attempt comes within inches. Dottie is up again by one. I was really having fun today. I was just enjoying myself, walking, <laughs> making some butts. She knew like she was gonna make the putt because I played with her before and this girl's a robot putting. Over the course of the afternoon, Dottie and Anita continue to go head to head. And while the other groups fight it out elsewhere on the course, Dottie has quietly moved into the position of tournament leader at four under par. I tried not to look to the scoreboard. Somehow she made like three or four birdies in a row and I'm like, you know, I lost track. I don't know who's winning. I don't know if I'm winning or I have to catch up. I told myself, I was like, okay, just, you know, keep making good shots and make, make some putts and just give yourself a chance. On 16, Dottie has another chance for birdie. She misses by inches. Anita sees her opportunity and takes it. With just two holes left, 
Anita's window to catch Dottie is narrowing. With Cyan in the distance, the fans have gravitated towards 17 to watch this friendly rivalry play out. Anita consults with her caddy. The moment has come. She misses. It's about as close as it gets. The finale of the 2022 Copper Rock Championship from the LPGA Epson Tour when we return. As the 2022 Copper Rock Championship nears its conclusion, the fight for first is coming down to the final groups and the final holes. With so much on the line, fans from all over Southern Utah have come out for this final championship round. While Dottie Ardina and Anita Uwadia have been trading the lead all afternoon, the rest of the field hasn't been far behind. Marta Sanz Barrio of Spain played her best round of the tournament and narrowly misses her birdie chance on 18. She'll end the day at 68 and the tournament at three under. Leticia Beck of Israel sinks her final putt for birdie to also finish at three under. Despite a hole-in-one earlier in the day, it's time for American Lucy Lee to say goodbye. She'll finish the day at 69 and the tournament at three over par. Emma Brose of France, who led at the start of the day at three under, has finished the tournament even and tied for seven. Amelia Garvey has an epic run of four birdies on the back nine that now puts her within reach of Dottie. Getting up to 16 and seeing that I was tied for the lead um, was pretty great. I didn't really miss it in any bad spots until uh, 17. Her chance to take the lead stalls when she overshoots the green on 17 and walks away with a bogey. 17, just the wind got up, so it just shows, you know, how quickly this course can change. So I made bogey on 17 there, so I was thinking, OK, I've got to make birdie up the last um, to have a shot. She hits a final dead end when she misses her putt on 18 by just inches and racks up another bogey. I was going for the win, but it would have been nice to get in a tied second, but got a bit too caught up in the line on the last putt. Um, I thought I hit a good putt and obviously just a bit slower today. It was her last chance. The disappointment shows. I'm really happy with the way I played my first time being in this situation, and it's all just learning going forward. Dottie Ardina and Anita Uwadia remain. They are on 18 for the final hole of the final round. Anita hits on to 18. Dottie follows with a beautiful shot that puts her within feet of the pin and within birdie position. Dottie coolly stands by as Anita lines up her shot. It's a Hail Mary attempt and her last chance. Her shot is on target, but hits the pin and overshoots the hole. It will be Anita Uwadia's best career result and her first top 10 finish on the Epson Tour. 
I'm gonna get my win at some point, but it's just a great confidence booster that I can do this. I, I'm good enough to win. Three rounds of strong and steady golf over three days is what got Dottie Ardina to the top of this 120 player field and to this final moment. A birdie here would put her at five under and secure Dottie her first ever Epson Tour win. On the last hole, I knew I have to make birdie just in case. I tried not to look at the board. All I was thinking was my line, the spot that I have to hit. I was happy that I have a chance, but you never know what's gonna happen. She sinks the shot. After I made the putt, I looked around and looked at the scoreboard. I was like, oh, I, I won. It was pretty cool. I was shaking when I was picking up the ball because they were so loud and cheering for me. Dottie Ardina's win at the 2022 Copper Rock Championship is a boost in both confidence and crucial points and puts her one step closer on her race to the car and her dream of getting back on the LPGA. It's my ninth year and I always come close. It's not easy to win in any tour. So it's such a big accomplishment for me today that I pulled it off. After an epic week of battling each other and mother nature, the ladies of the Epson Tour say goodbye to Copper Rock until next year. With the rest of the season and their professional careers ahead of them, this is just the beginning of their road to the LPGA.